Shabbat Shalom to everyone because we are one. So wherever you are and whoever you are, if you wish to participate in the feeling and the vision of peace, in the feeling and the vision of unity and oneness, then this night is for you and I just lit the Shabbos candles for you and for me, for the one of which we are both and which we are all a part. So the new moon is going to be tomorrow, and the energies are already upon us because about two days beforehand, the energies are already rolling in, they're already sinking in. Um, so we're in it already, and I wanted to give some time to prepare. I wanted to do the reading right now because, first and foremost, I just received the intuitive message to do it right now. And it feels so right. And then when I began to think about why it could be right, right now, I thought of some, some reasons why, you know. My human logic kicked in and I thought, well, it gives us some time to prepare. The sun is going down, it gives us something to think about as we go into the darkness and prepare before this new moon. If you haven't already, and if you have then to just kind of get a little more clarity, to kind of refine our intentions for this new moon. So this reading is also an activation, as those of you who watch my videos know. This is a Kabbalistic tarot reading. The cards that are chosen, the faces and archetypes that are revealed, will provide a map for us to move through this part of the cycle. And this part is the new. It's the new moon. It's the initiation activation. It's time for us to plant the seeds. It's time for us to set new intentions, to begin fresh. And I'm really feeling it. I'm feeling newly inspired beyond words. It's something that I feel deep inside of myself. Um, and if, if I just sit for a moment or two and allow myself to sink into that, I can immediately come up with a whole list of inspirations and new insights that I've received just today alone just today alone. I've been a little under the weather, getting my upgrades the last few days, and um, today I feel, I feel really good. I feel clear, and I feel that this is a clarity we are all experiencing on one level or another, and the new moon is only one reflection of a much greater thing happening inside all of us at this time. So I invite you to whatever your intentions are that you formed, or maybe you don't have any, or whatever thoughts are in your head today, what are, especially the ones that keep coming back in, the themes, the patterns, let it all go. It doesn't matter if you feel good about it, or you feel anxious about it, or you just feel bad about it. Whatever it is, let it go. Because we need to create a space for answers to our questions to come in. For wisdom to enter, untainted by our stubborn ego mind. So let's create that space. And when you feel like you've created that space, however you must, do it in your own way. When you feel that you've created that space, go ahead and connect to the deck however you would like to. Okay, it could look like you just sending your energy into the deck. Uh, that could look like anything to you. Send a spark of light, see your essence, a glow coming out of your body and entering this deck. Whatever you want to do, be creative because it's about your imagination. The imagination is key, okay? So when you're ready, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to begin. Right. 
I pulled a card for the past and something we're stepping out of. I pulled a card for where we are at right now, something we're experiencing that is foreshadowing the near future. The near future is another card I pulled. And in between this present and near future is the challenge and the gift, which is also the bridge to get to the future. Let's start with something we're stepping out of, the Page of Cups, the Earth of Water, a messenger of emotion, a messenger of love, could be you, could be someone else in your life, but being open to perhaps romance or love or being open to a new way of connecting to the heart, this is something that we're stepping out of now. Cards nice and glowing in this light. This is something that we're stepping out of. This is something that we're going to leave behind as we transform and remember that right now we are the Nine of Wands and this is all about perseverance. This is about Nines are endings not the new beginning yet, okay? It's saying that, hang in there. We're going through an ending right now that will lead to a new beginning. Everything that we've been doing with this, learning a new way of connecting to the heart, our relationships, romance, speaking from the heart in new ways, communicating from the heart in new ways, receiving within the heart in new ways, all that work we've been doing has led us back to this present moment Remembering that all of it was so that we can complete a cycle on our spiritual path. So that we can finally break free from what seemed like a lot of hard work, maybe pain, maybe suffering, but hard work, no doubt. Now here we are remembering all the work that we've done. Remembering that it was not all for nothing, that it was all for something for a new beginning, but before we can get there, we have to complete the ending. So if you feel like anything that you've done recently in your relationships, anything you've been going through in your relationships, feels like you're coming to a breaking point, like you just can't take anymore, or you just don't know if you have what it takes to make it through whatever obstacles you're going through right now, or challenges, to hang in there. But all the work you've been doing, you don't want to just throw that out. Remember why you've been doing it. Why have you been going through these lessons of the heart? Why? Ultimately, it's all for our spiritual path. Whether we see it or not, it's all for our growth, for our evolution, for our expansion. And right when it feels like, oh my God, I don't know if I've been doing the right thing. I, I feel like an amateur. Has everything I've been doing been for nothing? Did I really learn anything? Will I really be able to take what I've learned and do something with it? Because I feel stuck. Because I feel like I'm ready to give up. No. Remember that it was all for this. This final moment. It's the final countdown. No, but really. For real. <laughs> when it seems the hardest, we have to remember that the gift is just on the other side. You can't give up now. And even though it might seem really difficult in this moment, if we just remember that all of this heartache or lessons of the heart we've been going through, it's for our spirit. It's for our growth. It's for our evolution and expansion. We cannot give up now. Okay? We're moving to a future of the Four of Wands, which is really cool because if you see we're, we're at the Nine of Wands right now, we're currently stepping into an opportunity to end and begin a new cycle within our spiritual evolution. And we're working our way to this future, which is also a Wands card, and the Four of Wands is about foundation, success in creating a solid foundation, stability, Completing a cycle. Four is the completion of a cycle. Four, form, gives form to new life. So we're going from an ending, not just to a, from a nine to a ten, an ending and a new beginning. We're not just going to a new beginning. We're going to a new beginning that is solid. 
a new beginning in reflection of our success in the spiritual realm, despite what it looks like in this physical reality. We have the opportunity here, if we really stay strong and remember that we can't give up now, and if we persevere, and if we keep going, we must, we must, then we will have the opportunity to reach this Four of Wands. Not just a new beginning, again, but a new beginning that will be built upon a solid foundation. Balance. Order. True order in the unseen realm, which then manifests in every other dimension by law in reflection of that unseen success. And the challenge and gift, which is also the bridge between now and the future, is... Major Arcana, the Hierophant. So we have two Wands cards, which is Spirit. We have a Page, so a Court card. And then we have a hier the Hierophant, which is a Major Arcana. And so this being the challenge and the gift, which is the bridge from now to the future. What is the Hierophant? The Hierophant is the exoteric teacher. The teacher. It's religion, dogma. Old programming. How are we going to tune into our own heart's compass, not denying the truth of the what we judge to be the old paradigm? And not just looking away from what we judge to be new age, woo-woo, BS. How can we stay open Trusting in our own inner teacher, knowing that everything has the potential to be a great lesson. Everything is the guru when we remember that our perspective is the only thing that matters. Why deny any information? Sure, don't readily just integrate any truth or any, anything into your programming. Don't just readily accept someone else's truth. But also don't deny it. Don't just deny it. Don't be so quick to den deny it. What do you have to lose in just hearing it? Just seeing it. Just breathing it in. Because even if you take it in through hearing it or seeing it or receiving it, you, you can still let it pass through. Receive it. Open up to it. Feel it out. And then if it's not for you, let it pass through. If it's not for you, let it pass through. But what do you have to lose when it's you who will choose what is true and what is false. And how does this come into play between the Nine of Wands, where we're at right now, and the Four of Wands? How is this the bridge between those two, particularly in, in where we're at right now, at this present time? And what I see and what I feel is that it's important for us to not give in to those ideas of others when people tell us this or that about your own heart's path. When someone says to you, oh, you're being naive. Oh, you're being too trusting. Oh, you're not being trusting enough. Oh, shit, that gets really confusing. Oh, shit, that gets really confusing. Don't even, don't even waste your time sinking in to any part of that. But like I said, yeah, receive it. Hear the different perspectives, sure. Be graceful about it. Receive it. Don't resist it. People are going to talk. People are going to push their opinions on you. People are going to give you unsolicited advice. So, like I said, receive it and then let it flow through you if it's not, you know, if it doesn't ring true. But when you hear all the sides of it, when you just be open to receive, then your perspective is what forms a clearer picture. So long as you remember that it's your perspective, your perspective that counts. So people will try to tell you that all of your efforts of heart or your lack of effort in cultivating your heart's compass, people will try to judge your path and your heart and what you choose to do with your heart, and that's ridiculous because your heart is inside of you. But don't be upset when they do. 
because it's natural. It's what we do. And ultimately, it's because we really care about each other. Because whether or not we admit it, we see our reflection in the other. So, allow everything to be a mirror. But allow that light to shine on and then through you. And people will tell you, oh, it's time to give up. Oh, you're trying too hard. Oh, you better leave that in the past. Oh, just give up now. But then there will also be those people in your life who, who are your cheerleaders, who cheer you on and tell you, don't give up now. Keep on going. But we have to know that everything is up to us. Every decision that we make is up to us, ultimately. And sometimes we like to give our power up and let other people decide for us because it's easy to be a victim, because it is easy to be a sheep. Because we're exhausted of our efforts. We're exhausted and we don't want to persist. We want to give up because it's easy. But we have to keep going. And then there will be those that say, you know, you want to give up because it's easy, but don't give up. I know it's going to be real hard, but you got to... No, no, wait, wait, hold on. Stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> We want to give up because it's easy. But guess what? It's also easy to persevere and keep going, despite the challenges we've been through, so long as we remember why we are here and that all of this is temporary in this physical reality. Just because it feels easy to give up and just give in doesn't mean it's not also easy to keep going. It's a different kind of easy. It's not the easy that leads to impermanent satisfaction. It's a whole different kind of easy. It's a magical easy. It's a grace and ease that comes with the trust in God and in self as a part of that God and that love and that infinite source. So yeah, it's easy to give up. But it doesn't have to be hard to keep going. And that's the message that I hear with the Hierophant loud and clear at this time here now for us as one. It doesn't have to be hard to keep going. So while we do have to keep going because it is for the best of our highest good as one, it doesn't have to feel shitty. It doesn't have to feel scary. It doesn't have to feel heavy. It doesn't have to be heavy. And we have to know that. To sow that, to be that, we need to free that old mindset that comes with the old paradigm in a way that truly doesn't serve us, in a way that truly isn't wise and isn't helping anyone. That fear-based BS, yes, please, keep going for you, for me, for the one, but no, that it will be as easy and it will be as graceful as you allow it to be. And I'm not talking about a lack of challenges on this physical plane. Sure, there may or may not be X amount of challenges, but that's not up to us to decide or worry about before we even begin the process, before we even take a step forward. So you're telling me that before I even take a step forward to walk this path, I should already be creating those obstacles, manifesting them here out of fear in my mind? No. No, I'm going to move forward because I know it's what's best, but I'm going to move forward with my best foot forward. With this new moon, I'm going to be inspired. I'm going to be uplifted. And I'm going to remember that it's nonsense and it's foolish for me to create an obstacle that is not even there yet just by thinking about it in my mind, therefore by law ensuring its manifestation in the future. No, I'm going to move forward, but I'm going to also know that I have all of the energy in the universe to support me right now, infinitely. And the moon is not something that I'm saying to praise, but the moon is one reflection of a much greater thing that's happening inside of us and all around us. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's an opportunity to align with universal energy, to access our fullest potential here and now, to take 
that step forward and to embrace whatever is to come from an empowered perspective, from my most empowered being. And I'm going to say, hey, yeah, it's been hard. And it, it, it might, you know, the devil, the devil wants us to think, hey, it might be easy if we just give up now. Let's just give up. Yeah, let's give up. And it might be easy for a second, but in the long run, you're not doing anyone good, anyone good, any good at all. And I know that if I just take this first step forward in trust and in faith, empowered, full of love and connection to an infinite source, that that first step will represent the rest of my journey. And that even though it's been hard and I have to keep going right now, I'm going to project the most positivity that I can into my future, full of hope, full of knowing that this physical reality is only temporary and everything I'm doing now is for something much greater than what it appears to be in this moment with my two human eyes. And that even though it's been hard, it's about to get so magical. And I'm about to push through the hardest part of the journey at this point in our cycle. At this point in our cycle. At this point in our never-ending cycle. So right there, we're only talking about this small moment in time and space, which is infinitely unfolding. So that alone is liberating. But I know that as I push through the hardest part in this part of this cycle, that I'm about to step into a whole new beginning. I'm about to go from that nine to the 10 to begin again. And I'm going to move on to the four of wands. And it doesn't have to be hard. Despite what fear-based old programming will tell me, whether that's coming from me or someone else, anyone else, don't be confined by time. It's an illusion. So how long, however long it takes to get from here to here, is not up to us to decide. And ultimately doesn't matter, because the details are impermanent. The growth is eternal. So all I, all we need to know right now is that I am about to get through the hardest part. And I can't give up now because the gift is right on the other side. And I'm not going to project challenges. I'm going to plant seeds of positivity for my future right now. And I'm going to step forward with my best foot. And I'm going to know. I'm going to know. I know right now. And all I need to know right now is that the gift is on the other side and a new beginning is awaiting me. The best kind of new beginning with a stable, balanced, just foundation that will allow for me to create a reality built upon a strong foundation, a complete and sustainable foundation. I am built for success. I will not listen to old fear-based programming that is coming from me or anyone else because we are all one and wherever, whatever angle the fear is coming from does not matter. It is not real. It is only there to awaken me to its opposite, love, success, truth. And any time that fear comes up or tries to tell me, oh, just give up now. Oh, it's only going to get harder, but it's okay. You know, it, it's going to be hard, but it's okay. No, it doesn't have to be. It's going to be whatever you want it to be. It's going to be whatever you want it to be. So project the best. So all of the things you've been going through in your relationship, just to sum up everything that I just spoke about, okay? All of the things that you've just been going through in your relationships and matters of the heart. It could be relationships with anyone. Love is infinite, okay? It could be with romantic relationships, family relationships, friends, anybody. Any matters of the heart. The relationship with self. All of those things we've been going through. 
have brought us to where we're at now, and we cannot give up now. The gift is right there on the other side. The promise of a new beginning awaits us. A new beginning that is for real this time. For real. One that we can build upon. One that won't keep falling apart. One that is provided as a gift, like a trophy. Given us because of all of our hard efforts. And perseverance. Trust, faith in self and in God. In the universe. Great spirit. We are our own teacher. And the mother and father within us will guide us. And that mother and father is reflected all around us, from within us, all around us. In everyone's voice, even in the fear, so that we may see right through the fear, through to its center where its opposite lies, which is love. And then we will know what is real. And we will know that it is promised to us, that love promised to us from the beginning of time. Happy new moon, you guys. Shabbat shalom. <sighs> Feeling super inspired and I'm sending all of that inspiration to each and every one of you. And I thank you for following these readings. It's always so exciting for me to do these readings with you all and really brings me so much joy and gives me so much life. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share. Shabbat Shalom and Aloha.